Hello Taurus. You're watching White Buffalo Divine. I'm Mags. Thank you for coming to my channel. Before we get into this reading, I would ask that you please stop this video and go back and watch the 9-11 reading I recorded today. Uh, that is a collective overall reading. And what I'm doing is after you watch that, it's about a 15 minute video, uh, we will then break down into a five to eight or so minute uh, video for the Zodiac signs. All 12 will get a specific, it's almost like an extended from that original reading. So go check that out first and then come back and watch this. It'll probably make a little bit more sense and quite frankly, you'll probably get more uh, messages that way. So uh, also there are two minutes of silence uh, and remembrance of this day at the beginning of the video, uh, but I would say turn your volume up because I... Um, I do have some clearing energy that we go through those first two minutes. So let's get into your reading here. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell to receive um, notifications when I post. If you're interested in a private one-on-one -on -one session with me, all the information is in the information box below. Let's go. What do we have for Taurus, please, coming in? Taurus's current energy, what's coming in? Ten of Pence. Boom. Okay, Taurus. Okay, what else do we have? There's nine of, of Wands. Taurus, I don't know what energy you got, but whatever you're overcoming, you're, ooh, you are successful as hell at it. Tell me more. Tell me more. What do we got? There's the four of coins, saving your money. Possibly being a little uh, stubborn at this time. What? A Taurus? Stubborn? No. Tell us more. <laughs> There's the high priestess. There's your intuition coming in about obviously something going on in your love life. Do you have a choice to make, Taurus? Is that what's going on here? I kind of feel like it is. And uh, man, you've had a couple of love readings back to back. So obviously love is on the brain, but also your finances. You're really doing well with your money right now. You're gonna have more money coming in, more stability, 10 of pentacles. Uh, you've really had to overcome some challenges with this. Um, there may be a potential Pisces involved somewhere in the mix. Uh, we'll see what the cards say. There's three of cups or maybe a third party. Okay, Taurus, maybe something going on here. There's the death card underneath. Obviously, a transformation coming through in your relationship of some kind, Taurus. Let's dig deeper. We're going to use the Rider weight. Let's break down these cards. Tell me about the Ten of Coins. What is that regarding? What's coming in? Any extra messages we need to know in regards to that energy in particular for Taurus, please? Ten of Pence. Tell us more. What do we got? Heartbreak right out the gate. Three of Swords. energy just totally flipped and there's the four of wands and we have the ace of swords on that there's been um and there's the tower damn taurus what's going on this is energy coming towards you ten of pentacles uh and we got heartbreak describing that we've got the three of swords we've got the four of wands and we have clarity is there clarity coming in about a ten of pentacles situation ten of pentacles represents family home hearth relationship Okay, obviously it uh, could be money as well, but there's something here. I'm seeing partnership, you and another person uh, receiving clarity on that. There's heartbreak involved somehow. Um, and again, if this is a third party situation, if there's somebody else in the mix, I think either you or, or someone else is realizing there may be uh, feelings or clarity, although I'm not seeing any cup energy, so we'll dig a little bit deeper, but this is a very cut and dry energy to describe the Ten of Pentacles here, Taurus. So let's go more uh, in. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. What's with this tower on the bottom of the deck? Either something is about to occur or something has just occurred that's really rattled your chain, Taurus, or it's rattled somebody else's. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. It's about really overcoming adversity on your own, Taurus. I feel like there's been a solo journey here in some aspect. This could be somebody that is also involved with you, this Nine of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, there's the Two of Wands, and then we have the Seven of Wands. Um, bottom of the deck, Five of Swords. You're really in your head about some individual Taurus or someone's in their head about you, okay? This could be you, don't get it twisted on the gender, could be masculine or feminine, but this is someone who's usually uh, very self-sufficient on their own, independent, secure in their money. There's obviously a decision that has been made of some type regarding this energy or this person and maybe coming forward and having a conversation, being brave and courageous. The fact that this came underneath the nine of wands, it's like no matter what, you're going to overcome adversity. Maybe this person does that. No matter what, this person always comes over adversity. They're resilient. Um, or you're making a call on this person. 
I also just got a channeling that this person may actually have been part of the reason you have burdens like this. There's additional burdens this person may have put on you. Um, and maybe that's why you've, you've put boundaries up or you've been brave with them. This is also very passionate energy. I want to say we got three cards with wands here. So you could be dealing with a potential fire sign as well, Taurus, okay? Um, tell me about the four of coins. Let's look at the four of coins, please. Right out the gate. Four <laughs> Taurus, four of coins, clarifying the four of coins. I cannot make this up. There it is, right there, okay? You're you're being stubborn about something here and you're also being very secure on your, on your, I just heard homestead. <laughs> Are you getting like old school? Let's go, okay, come on, tell me more. Someone's really getting protective here. There's like a protective instinct that has been initiated more so than, than normal. Saving, protection, There's, there you are, Taurus, King of Pentacles, can't make it up cannot freaking make it up you're in your power here whatever's going on this is really actually an easy thing for you to go through it's like you've been through it before or you know how to navigate more or you've received recent downloads you're growing tell me about this high priestess there's your intuition that's what it is your intuition's kicked on something about taurus's intuition was off it, i'm seeing a, i'm literally seeing a switch turned off there it is can't make it up four of cups you you are denying an offer possibly or um Maybe you had an offer for a job that you passed up. I do feel this is love related, but there's a choice. I don't know. Because <clears throat> I did just get a channeling about a job. So there's something here, Four of Cups, that someone has presented to you that you have not wanted to accept. Uh, your intuition, I feel, was off on this in some fashion. Either you made the wrong choice or you ignored something. And Taurus, you're the high priest, okay? Okay. So Taurus is a hierophant. That's the high priest. So we got the high priestess here. So this could be about a divine partner as well and making a choice. Tell me more about the four of cups. Let's go a little bit deeper. What do we got? Three. I can't make it up. I feel like this might be a third party situation, Taurus. And the hermit. You've gone silent, really trying to gain wisdom and enlightenment about the situation. Tell us about the lovers. Brand new beginning. Someone's wanting a brand new beginning. There's the fool. You may have Aries in your chart, Taurus. Uh, tell me more about the lovers, please. There's a star. There's some. Wow. Wow. Dude, this energy is hardcore new beginnings and healing. This is, uh, there may be somebody who you really admire at this time. Um, this person may be really good at helping you heal. There's something about you wanting to take a leap of faith and heal a situation. Start from scratch. I don't know. I'm getting that heavily. Uh, you may be dealing with a potential Aquarius or Gemini. I also have Virgo uh, or heavy fire signs. Gemini or whoa, second time I said Gemini. So that might be there. Uh, or you're dealing with a, a Sagittarius Leo Aries. Final message on this lover's energy so we got healing and a new beginning whoa knight of wands you're on fire for somebody taurus or you're on fire for a situation or a job something's been something has been massively enlightened to you taurus uh so i feel like this is go time i literally just saw a uh i'm seeing two drag race cars out on a drag strip i'm seeing yellow 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 green and they boom they both go at the same time that's this energy. And this is a very, this is not a normal energy for Taurus to have. So Taurus, I, again, I, there's something here about you rushing in. Yeah, there's there's uh, seven of swords in reverse. I don't really take reversals, but whatever's been high, like hidden or secret, it's coming out. There's something coming out about this energy. Can't make it up. You've been really strong as it's been going through. You may be dealing with someone who has heavy Leo in their chart. There's the offer. Damn. Damn. Well, all right, Taurus, looks like you got some stuff coming up. It's good. It's, it's definitely good. It's brand new energy for you, and I love that. So uh, that's where I'm going to end things for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell for all notifications when I upload. And as always, if you would like a private session with yours truly, all the information is below. But if this is where we part ways, Taurus, uh, all my love, sending you so much love, light, and support. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you later. Bye.